when I was a kid, we we cut grass. That was a little side hustle we did just to make ends meet as we were growing up as kids. I got to high school, then I was like, well, let's, I want to do commercial mowing. I'm, I'm over the little yard. Let's do the bigger stuff, make more money. And I went out and bought a zero turn mower myself, and he fussed with me, and <laughs> he wasn't happy because you're you're spending money. So when you grew up that poor, you don't want to spend anything. You don't want to let it go. And I was like, well, the only way you're going to get anywhere, you got to spend the money to make the money. Starting off with the commercial landscaping and kind of just rolled into doing the sidewalks and driveways and doing city projects and infrastructure stuff and just blew up after that and fought through the recession. And here we are. Right now, we're probably 80% contract crushing. So with all our power screen equipment, maybe 75%. 10% mass excavation, so we're at 15% site work. So that's our pipe crew and the concrete guys and all that stuff. I'm not gonna give up. I don't wanna fail, so we always try to figure out how to get through something. It makes it nice because we can do a whole bunch of different things, so they only gotta deal with one person to get them through their project on time or make it happen. We're gonna figure it out one way or another, it's gonna get done. My age and being even a minority, when you go out there, some people just don't take you serious, but I know it's gonna be a better job than the guy they would've hired instead. That's kinda like I look at it. Like, I'm gonna give you 110% and it's gonna be above what you were expecting. And that's kind of thing we go in with. Trying to make, so if we're gonna make it happen, and you're gonna get a really good product from us. Then when your GC is getting compliments from their owner, that means you did a good job. Cause now the GC just made him shine and he's happy. Let's keep going with this guy. We don't have to worry about that. There's been times where I Peter to pay Paul, but we, it always worked out. And some, it always just, for whatever reason, it worked. I don't know how it does it, but it does. I didn't think I would have six crushing spreads running in two different states all the time. Never would have imagined it. Never. Never in a million years. It's pretty cool. I like it. It's fun. All the guys seem to have fun. All the machines are running, not breaking. I like working with the younger guys because they'll take what you got to say and do something with it, is what I noticed. You now you get some of the older guys that are stuck in their ways, and some of them you can work with, but the younger guys, I, I try to give them more time, even though I got so much time, because they're the ones you're going to need here in the next 20 years. I'm going to need them in 15 years or whatever. So I try to spend a more lenient. So even if they mess up, they're not going to learn unless they mess up. I mean, I messed up doing this whole business thing. I done messed up a couple times, but I righted them wrongs and here we are, so. I mean, when you get in financial trouble years ago, like it, when the recession hit, you try to make them right, right all them wrongs that you had and now everybody's happy and now we're all doing business together. <laughs> My dad, he's happy. He thinks it's the coolest thing ever, so. I stay humble and keep moving. That's all you gotta do.